Oddworld inhabitants have released yet another letter from Lorne Lanning, a longer one this time. It's interesting that they've released three different messages from Lorne within the past two days or so. They seem to really want to hit the hammer down and get it into fans' heads about what is going on with Soulstorm and why it's been delayed again and all that sort of thing. And I think potentially this is because, you know, they've delayed it so much. They know a lot of people are probably fed up of it being pushed back. And I think they're trying to reiterate and get the message out there that is genuinely almost done at this point because by now it wouldn't be a surprise if people didn't believe that. So I guess this is a good bit of public relations management but likely necessary considering how many times we've been through this before. Anyway, the letter says, What's up with the release of Artworld Soulstorm? Good question. Artworld Soulstorm is by far the biggest game that we have ever made. Ah, so I was right, I said that the other day, they said that I wasn't sure if I was making it up or something. So yeah, they do say it's the biggest game they've ever made, so, which is both exciting and nerve-wracking. Our team has been heads down working on Soulstorm to bring it to you as quickly as possible without sacrificing high quality. I am proud of them and the work they are creating. I want to stress, Soulstorm is nearly done. Story and levels are all done. We are now focusing on getting new and existing Oddworld features balanced and bug squashing. Oddworld features, that's an interesting phrase, I wonder what that means. Just, just, does it just mean like Oddworld Soulstorm features, features of the game, or I don't know, Oddworld features? It's just a weird way to phrase that, unless I'm being an idiot, probably. I know you know that we are an indie team, and for the last 10 months we have been working from home. Because we cannot be in the same room working together, these necessary measures have slowed our progress. But to be candid, we needed the extra time to ensure that everything is gelling and enhances your experience. You see, now I was wondering about that, I was considering, I wonder if the whole thing that's been going on this year, I wonder if that has, was the reason why it got delayed and, you know, and maybe it would have been out this year. But no, this confirms that actually it probably would have been delayed anyway by the sounds of it because well he says they needed the extra time so they i guess it doesn't mean they it, it would have gotten delayed necessarily so maybe it did have an impact but this seems to suggest that they wanted to you know push it back anyway so yeah we wanted to release day and date with the launch of ps5 and that's another thing i think i can't remember if i thought it'd be released that then i can't remember when i said i thought it'd be released it's so long now um but yeah i did think i wonder if they're aiming for like a playstation 5 launch release or whatever so it's interesting that they were and they were planning to release it on that day it was it 12th or 19th november but no it seems like they had to delay it but it is interesting that they wanted to get it launched and they failed to make that deadline which is unfortunate we could be playing odd rod soulstorm right now but alas we have to wait a little bit longer but it would have been a lesser game for it and that is neither what we want nor what you deserve. A spring 2021 release gives us flexibility, time and a little wiggle room to deliver Soulstorm to you. Fortunately, all our partners have supported our decisions. We have a lot riding on this game and we want to release the best game possible. Yeah, that's uh, another thing that I've considered a lot, you know, like how they need this game to be successful. This is sort of the final um, chance they probably have to get it done. Um, to get the Old World Quintology done. Old World Soulstorm has to be a success, so they, of course, it's understandable, in my opinion at least, that Lorne is wanting to make sure it's perfect, make sure it's as good as it can be. And so, yeah, I sort of understand why they keep delaying it, because it has to be good. It has to be as the best they can. And if they released it, like, in November, when they wanted to, and then it didn't do too well, you know, Lorne Lanning would be forever thinking, oh, crikey, I should have bloody delayed it and made it even better and worked on that. And so if he's got things in his head that he's like, oh, I need to fix that, of course he's going to delay it because he has to get this right. He has no other choice. It has to be a success. There's so much riding on Old World Soulstorm. We will know an exact date in early 2021 and we will share it with you as soon as we are 100% certain. Sherry and I and the entire team thank you for sticking with us on our journey. Your support inspires us and we cannot wait to share Soulstorm with you. It has been longer than expected, but we believe it will be worth it. Thank you, Lon Lanning. Uh, yeah, I made a video like two years ago saying Oddworld Soulstorm will be worth the wait. I think it will be, um, and hopefully it will be. Uh, there's no point hoping that it won't. And let's face it, you know, we can complain that we haven't got it now, we're not playing it now, but, you know, the amount of time they spent on it, it should be pretty good, surely. Like, if it isn't, and that's, like, the biggest disaster, like, like if they've spent that much time on the game and it isn't good, imagine that. 
So whether it will be worth wait, logically it should be. Hopefully it will be. But we'll just have to wait and find out, basically. In, uh, spring 2021. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's go with that. Also on the Old World, uh, website, uh, they released... Well, this was, like, when I released the trailer. At the same time, they put some, uh, new images up. Except I think they're just images from the trailer, but... I find it interesting that they specifically took these images from the trailer. I think it's from the trailer. And, uh, like, there's only four. I thought they might have been, like, new ones. Like, the last time they released the trailer, I think they put, like, 12 different images that weren't even in the trailer or anything. But these ones, I think, are just screenshots from the trailer. So you've got this nice blue one here, which is just a running through, I assume it's Necrom. There's a pos position orb, I think. Is that a position orb? Pretty picture. Not much to say about it. It's like a cave area. Then you've got a picture of, uh... Marlock's blimp and you've got some slicks there. Interesting that the slick visors show a white light instead of a red light. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's a torch. Maybe it's not their visors. That makes sense. Yeah, the slick looks like he's holding a machine gun. Uh, Marlock's blimp looks really... Oh, that's what it says. The blimp says um, meat products. I always wondered what it said there. Or did I? I can't remember. It's been so long. But yeah, so the blimp just appears to be firing over to the left. Left. Yes. Um, but yeah interesting shot. But it's got a shot from the gif that they released the other day, which is also in the trailer. I must say, I must correct myself, this little thing here is one of those checkpoint things. I thought it was another Mudokan, like the password guys, um, from Monzaic Lines in Abe's Odyssey, but it isn't, um, clearly. But the gif was just such low quality, I thought it was. Uh, that statue thing up there, it's like, what is it, a carving made of wood? It, it's really interesting. Um, I really like the patterns, though, like the, I think it's the Mudokans, have, like, this specific style of, what do you want to call it, artwork? Design? Design, yeah. Like, these points and all that. It's very, uh, uniformic. I don't know if that's the right word. I don't know if that is a word. Final image is just some Mudokans working, and, ooh, they're the tear extractors. I think. I think they're tear extractors. They're like Mudokans hanging down, whatever. But yeah, so looks pretty good. So that's basically just the latest news about Oddworld Soulstorm. Hello, follow me. Ooh, ooh, ooh.